This just tastes like a straight up melted chocolate bar. That's like kind of like a little bit of false advertising. I don't know if I follow this one. We are back with, believe it or not, the fifth trying YouTuber and influencer brands, and I am ready to feel ill. I'm just waiting for the video when all of the food products are complementary flavors, and I think I'm gonna be waiting a long, long while. Let's get started with the blind taste tests and comparisons. Nothing like some slabs of dried meat to kick off the video and cleanse the palate. <gasps> I always end up with a really weird stomach after these videos and this is 100% why. This is Jeffree Star's Yak Ranch Jerky and I gotta say, he really has a monopoly on the jerky industry. When I was trying to find competitors so we could do a blind taste test and comparison, all I was really getting were dog chews, which totally makes sense. Like Moose and Diggy have 100% had a yak chew before. So congratulations to Jeffree Star. We are revolutionizing the jerky industry. So two of these are beef and one is yak because again like there are truly no other yak jerky competitors on the scene right now and uh let's just get into it. Jerky is just like not the most appetizing thing I've ever seen. That's not bad. Quite flavorful honestly and like not dry. Okay here we go. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. These are brand new packages. I want to be very clear, they're not open. What does a yak taste like? I really kind of hate processing this information and thinking about this too deeply. That one was like dry and meaty. <laughs> this is the most red color, which I hate because it looks like zombie skin kind of. And that really freaks me the out. Oh, this is weird. I don't know if I follow this one. This might be enough for me. No, okay. I got this. We're strong. I'm gonna just do it like a shot. I got really into my head about that one. After I said zombie skin, I had a really hard time. That one was weird. That one was like meaty. This is gonna be a really specific and disgusting visual and that you've probably experienced before and I'm you're gonna really hate hearing this. But like, you know when you get a really chewy piece of gristle on a steak and you're just chewing in it and it gets like really gross in your molars and you're like, do I swallow this or spit this out? It's like still got a little bit of flavor, but like not really. And you're like, what do I do with this now that it's just like been chomping between my molars for so long? That's kind of what that was. We've also got some Yak Star Ranch meat sticks to try afterwards. So looking forward to that. This one was the best one, I think, that these guys here. This was really dry and meaty and this was just fleshy. I'm so sorry for describing anything in that tone. Like last video, I used the word diseasey and we can't ever come back from that. And unfortunately I have to use the word fleshy because I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna lock in the answer, Yak Star Ranch. This one is quite tasty. I know that people really like Jeffree Star's makeup. So like chances are he is doing well in the yak industry as well too. I'm gonna say healthy, organic-y, Whole Foods brand. And then I'm gonna say something Lynx, Beef Lynx, Meat Lynx. The brand that has like the most popular one I think is probably this one. Your first guess is the Whole Foods brand. Oh, this one is delicious. The second one is Jack Lynx. Oh, Jack Lynx, that's the one, not yeah. Beef Lynx. Really? That looks like the muscle off of it must have someone's body. Color. This is terrifying. And then this is Yakstar Ranch. Yeah. You know what though? That one had like the craziest dry texture and I really don't know what a yak tastes like. This is probably my first and last time eating a yak because personally I think yak is not for me. Let's try a stick. Let's try a yak stick. Stick me. The first ingredient of the yak sticks, the original flavor is Yak. So we've got original and we've got teriyaki flavored of a stick. This looks much more normal. Like it looks like a pepperette stick. Oh, this is, this is so much better. This really does just taste like a beef chomps. It's definitely like meatier tasting, I think, than beef, if that makes any sense. Here's teriyaki flavored. Oh, it's isn't soft. Mmm, this is the best one. I would finish this. I'm not because I've got to eat more weird shit after this, but 
This is the best one for sure. Star Yak Ranch, I see you with your teriyaki flavored snack sticks. Maybe yak is for me. I am genuinely so curious about this product. So one of these is Pizza Fi, and this is associated with Arak. So it's in the bottle that looks like a sriracha bottle, basically. So turn anything into pizza, but I only had the option to buy two, and it was $25. So for a pizza sauce, that feels like a lot. I love a good condiment. I really, really do. But I just, are we being bamboozled right now? Because like, what is gonna be the difference between a pizza sauce for $3, which is what one of these costs, or like an even healthier pizza sauce that was like around seven or $8, and then a $25 situation for about the same amount, even if you join up both bottles of it. These are some cold ass McDonald's fries. So if it can revive a cold McDonald's fry for 25 bucks, maybe I am in. It's so weird to even think about dipping a fry into pizza sauce of any kind. Like. That's pizza sauce. That is pizza sauce, all right. Whoa, that one's really vinegary. This one tastes more like a dipping sauce, if that makes sense. Like this one, you're like, that's pizza sauce. This one's giving possible pizza five. It really is. It's really, really vinegary though. This looks like a meat sauce. It's so thick. That just tastes like crushed up tomatoes. That's for sure the healthy one. <laughs> that's just, Tomatoes and basil just crushed up. Because this one is the most unique, I feel like this is pizza five. This gives healthy vibes because that, uh, that's got two ingredients in it. I don't even want that on a pizza because it's too healthy. And then this is giving like wholesome pizza sauce, but literally it was just like, that's a pizza sauce. Pizza five reveal. I f knew it, I knew it. This has got water, tomato paste, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, ooh yeah, salt, but white vinegar, inactive yeast, garlic, spice, citric acid, sodium, this has got hella vinegar in it, I knew it. Listen, if you like a tangy pizza sauce that's really vinegary, maybe this is for you. Would I put this on a veggie instead of ranch? No, but it's such a unique flavor that people might really be into this because I've really never had anything that tastes like this. I got a little kick to it. I can play that or more, so. I don't know. A lot of vinegar though. A lot of vinegar. My mom drew the line at unhealthy snacks at Nutella, chips, ice cream, chocolate, totally fine. Nutella, not a chance. So for me, Nutella like has a special place in my heart because it was a forbidden food and I am so excited. So Noah is a part of this brand, to be honest, TBH. And if you're Canadian, this looks like the no frills. Home brands, very bright, clean packaging, an honest hazelnut cocoa spread. This is gonna cost you a hard $12, where Nutella is like two to three dollars. And then like a mid-tier, organic-y, healthy brand is gonna be somewhere in between there. So she expensive. And like, listen, if I'm eating a hazelnut cocoa spread, I want the product that's gonna taste the best. Personally, that's my priority. Blind taste test, I don't know which is which. I also just feel like this is gonna be a mess eating. So we'll see how long it takes before I have chocolate on my face. Oh my God. This just tastes like a straight up melted chocolate bar. The forbidden food. <laughs> it's so good. It kind of tastes a little healthy though. Okay, here we go. That's Nutella. That's 100% Nutella. Even though my childhood was not brought up on Nutella. I feel like deep in my soul and my heart, I know. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. And I don't care how bad it is for you. This one's got a bit of a grittier texture, like some kind of actual nut. Oh shit, that one's good too. I'm gonna go Nutella, Noah, organic-y, mid-tier, whole foods, healthy brands. You're right on the Nutella. I knew it, I knew it in my soul. You swapped the other two. Swapped the other two. I immediately knew that that one was like the healthiest. I think the little crushed up hazelnuts threw me off. Listen, if I'm gonna slap some chocolate butter onto something, it's gonna be Nutella. I don't know for $12 if I'm necessarily the customer for this one, but it does feel the healthiest if that's the priority. But listen, I'm trying to put some trash in my body, so this just makes the most sense for me. I've survived the edible portion of the video. <laughs> so next up, we've got Christine, who has the brand Hollow Taco. People go feral for this nail polish. She was the holographic queen 
of all time my also Canadian queen. So I've got some like very obvious competitors like OPI and Essie and then this one is one of her holographic polishes and it's so stunning. I couldn't find an exact competitor product which I think is probably really good for her but we've got a LA Colors which is similar but the holographic flakes are definitely a little bit bigger and then this is Color Club and it's kind of in the opposite direction where this is a much more fine holographic polish. I get Gel X and Gel on my nails so I've got uh, one of these little nail wheels so that we can still experiment in real time. I've also got it up against a white paper so there's nothing blocking us and we get a true color comparison. Okay here we go OPI this is Mod About You. Oh shit, that's pretty good. This is Essie in the color Vanity Fairest. Oh, this looks really sheer. Well, I guess from the outside, you would think that it's a similar color. That's like kind of like a little bit of false advertisement. And then this is the Hollow Taco in Pinky Swear. I mean, this is a really pretty color, but I think the OPI was just so opaque on its first coat. I'm gonna do one more coat and see what color comes out. I also have a dog fur in here. Okay, I'm gonna do another one because that's a me problem. While that dries, let's try some holographics. Ooh, I have a feeling that I'm gonna paint all of these and just be like, ooh, these are all really pretty. Okay, this one is the one that's like really, really big chunks of holographic. So this would probably be more of a top coat situation or like a layering. I'm no nail expert, but I have been getting my nails done for years and years and years. And these are one of those top coats that I would be like, oh, this is gonna take so long for it to like build to look nice. I would not put this on my nails personally. I literally just stuck my finger directly in the OPI polish. The world was really like, you will not slander our queen and our hollow taco today. Okay, and here's the hollow taco, the holographic, and uh, rainbow snow. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, that's nice, nice. That is a good holographic. Let's paint over the fingerprints. <laughs> this is why I don't do regular polish because I'm just literally not capable. I don't know if there's ever been a time where I've done my nails with regular polish and been patient enough for it to be flawless afterwards. I can't think of a single time. The other layer wasn't dry, god damn it. I mean, listen, the OPI is truly so opaque. That's a solid polish. Shockingly, Going from one coat to two on this was really pretty. Would you need about 17 more coats to like get a really, really solid pink? Yes. We're just gonna encase that dog hair right in there. I mean, this looks great. That's really pretty. Okay, and our holographic second coat just for funsies. I will say actually this really fine one is really pretty. Let's add six more glitters onto this one. Yeah, that's not for me. Wow, even after two coats, this is like pretty hollow -y. That's nice. For science, I feel like that is all pretty straightforward and you can make conclusions yourself. And that is the conclusion of another very scientific YouTuber and influencer product review. Gotta be honest, I think the Pizza Fi is really unique. I don't think it's gonna be for everyone and I do think it's like really expensive and you have to buy two of them, but I think that this is an interesting product that is different. Yaks, obviously, also different. This was good. I think this is like for the granola moms of the world that wanna give their children Nutella but don't want to be putting whatever the whatever the, the the bad preservatives are that are in Nutella that just tastes so delicious into their kid's body. And then the Hollow Taco is obviously just crushing it and they will continue to crush it. As always, let me know if there are any new influencer and YouTuber products on the scene that we can review and do taste tests of. This is the fifth episode in this series, so I will make sure to leave a playlist of all of them if you're not caught up. And I will see you on Tuesday for a new episode of Wild Till 9 over on the vlog channel and again next Sunday for another video. Bye guys!